What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Banker Bros channel. Today I'm finally taking you guys on a very quick tour of my man cave setup. This has been three years in the making so let's throw up a picture of December 2017 so you guys can see what it originally looked like. It was just filled with a bunch of crap I didn't want to deal with anymore. One day I dealt with it and then I dealt with the walls and the floors and before you know it I was moving in furniture and PCs and it just sort of snowballed into what you're seeing right now. A big way for me to save money was to recycle a lot of parts from my old white and black build. So I'll throw a picture of that right now and I'll put a link down in the description if you guys want to see a tour of that old setup. But pretty much everything from that made its way down here one way or another except the desks. Another way for me to save money was to do everything down here myself. So it uh, was a lot of trouble, but it was definitely worth it. And thanks to COVID, I was able to put in the finishing touches, which is why I uh, am making this video now, because I feel like the setup is finally at a point where I don't think I'll make any changes anytime soon. So I want to keep it short. We're going to throw in some time codes over here on the left. We have storage over here in this corner. We have a little PC building slash diagnosing area. Up in the front, we have a movie watching area, which we also use to, you know, play board games every now and then. It's just big enough for us to put a few uh, chairs and a little table around it. In the center, we have a dual editing slash gaming setup side by side. And then last but not least, here we have a sim racing setup. And I know this is the most exciting thing, so let's start with this first. Thanks to COVID, I was given the time needed to actually build the setup out the way I truly wanted it. And if you guys want to see how I built the entire thing, I will put a link down below. But this is not what it originally looked like. I'll throw up a picture of my first sim setup ever in this corner. And it progressed eventually to my last $1,000 budget sim setup, which I will put a link to that also down below. But now we've gotten to this point and I am really proud of what it looks like. This was all based around these ESR SR02 rims. These are from my old IS300. It was a great way for me to have a keepsake from the car since it was the car that really got me into building, modifying and racing cars. And I wanted a nice way to memorize it. This tabletop is also something that I put a little bit of effort into because I found a way that I could use the rims as legs. This tabletop is not bolted on into the wall in any way, shape, or form. All of the weight from these monitors and the PC is being completely supported by these rims, and that's a fact I'm really proud of. The quad monitor setup is from my old black and white build. Like I said, I did recycle a lot of parts from it. And the PC is entirely new. It's got some of my old mining parts in it. So it's got a Ryzen 5 3600 along with 16 gigs of RAM and a 1070 Ti for my old mining rig. The thing is though, I really want a 30 series card, but I'm sure you guys know it's really, really hard to grab those right now. The cockpit is a very simple, basic setup that I also built myself. And it's got a Logitech G29 hub on it along with an upgraded rim just to make it look a little bit more and feel a little bit more realistic. Down below we've got the G29 pedals and we've got a little uh, wireless charger here so you can actually charge your phone while in the sim rig. I've got a SUSE USB handbrake along with a Thrustmaster TH8A shifter and the seat is also from my IS300 and the reason why I kept it is because it's electronic. So if you look right down there, it's actually connected to a PC power supply so it can actually be electronically adjusted for someone that's five or someone that's 20. They can be comfortable in this setup. And uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this short, so I'm not gonna go too crazy in detail. So this is my main PC and it's where I spend most of my time. This is the unintentional red and black Deadpool desk PC build. It all started with this MSI Gaming 1080 Ti. I really like this GPU. It's left over from my uh, mining rig and I decided not to sell it and incorporate it here. People also know I'm a pretty big Deadpool fan. So every time I got a Deadpool gift, I just added more and more red accents. Things like painting these fans red, buying a red Xbox controller, things of that sort. 
the CPU is a Ryzen 7 1700X, and it's got 32 gigs of DDR4 RGB RAM. As you might have noticed by now, the PC is a desk PC, but it's not a fancy one. It's just on a piece of wood that's bolted onto the legs of the desks. The monitors are up top, Samsung Curve 27 inch 1080p panel. Then down below that, we have a MSI 34 inch 1440p 100 hertz ultra wide panel, which I really like. I just picked it up on Black Friday. Then we have a Red Dragon keyboard. I am not a big gamer, so this isn't really that important to me as long as it's full size. That's really what's important to me. I've got a leather mouse pad that has a wireless charging dock built in. That's really what's important because uh, this way I could keep all my devices charged quickly and easily. And I think the mouse is a Logitech G602. The setup is pretty much complete for now. I don't really see myself changing much anytime soon. And I don't want to add any more red and black because I feel like I'm right on the edge of too much. Uh, now that we're done here, let's move on to the uh, second setup here that uh, Ray is gaming on right now. As you guys can see, we have Ray playing some Fortnite on the uh, second setup right now. He's got OBS open and if he wants to, he could record, he could edit, he can pretty much do whatever the hell he wants to. And this is exactly what this setup was made for. This is mimicking my old black and white build, the uh, setup on the left. And the entire idea was so that I can be on my PC while someone else can be visiting me and be on their PC too. And they can pretty much do whatever they want. He's learning to play on mouse and keyboard and stuff. I don't know what the hell he's doing right now. I'm not a Fortnite person. Uh, he's bugging out that's what he's doing <laughs> so the uh, monitor setup is just the same as the old black and white build it's uh, got two hp pro display p221s the uh keyboard is i'm not sure some corsair keyboard i think it's a k55 and the uh, mouse i think is a g203 and i've got the same leather mouse pad as the deadpool build and it has the wireless charging pad in it too let's pull him back real quick and the uh, PC down here is a 980 Ti along with a Xeon E5 2680 just uh, shoehorned into that case. It's actually my old wall PC build that I just basically took apart and I shoved the guts back into an actual case. And that's it. It's a very simple setup. Nothing too crazy. The 1070 Ti will be going in there soon whenever I can get my hands on a 3070 because uh, the, the 1070 Ti is really struggling to run the uh, quad monitor setup over here. Moving on to the projector setup over here, the first thing that you see is this big 100 inch electronically retractable screen. Now it's really cool that it's retractable. I even cut a hole in the ceiling so when it is retracted, it's completely hidden away. The thing is though that there's nothing behind that screen. I actually think that there's a hole in the wall that I never fixed. So uh, yeah, maybe one day I will have a TV to actually go behind it. Right down below is a TV stand that I also recently made and the entire idea behind that was to basically make these speakers look good. They are vertical speakers and they would normally cut into the projector screen and because of that I didn't like the way it looked and this entire area just didn't look good. So now with this custom made TV stand I'm able to house all of my consoles and the speakers nice and neatly. Over here on the left, we just have some games, Xbox games, PlayStation games, things of that sort, and um, some more Wii accessories. I need to make this place look a lot neater because we just have the controllers kind of just spread out everywhere. So I've got to figure out a creative storage solution for that. And then over here in this window, we have my uh, little uh, shot glass collection. It's been growing and there's actually more shot glasses than this. I just ran out of space over here. And that's actually where the old 1050 window mining rig was. And the PC, sorry, I meant the projector powering it all, is this Optima 1080p 3D projector. It's uh, been holding me down for the past couple of years, got it on sale, and I'm waiting for it to die so I can actually get a 4K projector to uh, get a little bit more quality out of the setup. And then the PC powering it all is this little Intel i5 2500 in this little inverted case, along with the 1050 or 1060. And it's got another wireless charging pad on top and a little uh, Bluetooth keyboard that uh, controls this entire setup. 
And uh, that's it for here. So as you're backing down the hallway here, you are met by the PC building slash diagnosing sensor over here on the left. This is all started because of this table. I just needed a basic table to hold stuff. And I got this from Macy's that was shutting down for 10 bucks. Totally worth the money, lasted me a very long time. And I think it will for a much longer too. I put pegboards up on the wall to hold up all my PC parts and uh, tools and things of that sort. I have a little bit of a storage up here for uh, drives, water cooling parts fans motherboards things of that sort and that's it over here something too fancy i've got a dell monitor up top that's uh actually there's a problem with it it doesn't work right but it's connected to this little uh, laptop right down here so i could watch netflix or youtube or whatever when i am working on pcs and then these monitors over here are leftovers from my mining days i'll probably splice some clip of that right now Since we're talking about mining, I did not completely abandon it. I still have the 1060 mining rig earning away a few dollars right now, as you can see over there on that screen. And right above it, we have a bunch of GPUs that I should throw into a mining rig. I, I don't know why they're not in the mining rig right now. And then we have uh, camera storage up top. It's got the drone, a bunch of mounts and lights and things of that sort, lenses and all that. To the left of that, we just have more storage. So we've got a bunch of external drives, internal drives, DVD drives, power supplies, old laptops, things of that sort. And below that, we have my little phone collection. So this is from back in the day when I used to buy, sell, and fix phones. So that's the remnants of it. And then right below that, we just have uh, some board games and a big old Dell office printer. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Be sure to like, subscribe, Hit the bell because I will be posting a video of how I built this entire setup really soon. Normally everything is not on like this. It's just whatever thing I am using will be on. But I turn it all on just to show you guys what it looks like at full tilt. So I hope you guys enjoyed and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.